Lesson 1, Electric Field Section 1.4, Superposition F12 is the force on a point charge Q1 due to a point charge Q2. If we have another point charge Q3, what is the net force on the point charge Q1 due to Q2 and Q3? The principle of superposition states that the force on a point charge due to another point charge is independent of the presence of any other charges. Thus, F12 and F13 are given by these equations. F12 is determined by Q1 and Q2, and F13 depends on Q1 and Q3. F1 denotes the composite force on the point charge Q1 created by Q2 and Q3. F1 is the vector sum of F12 and F13. Exercise 1.4 This is your homework. Pause the video, and find the force on a point charge Q1. Section 1.5 Electric field intensity Let's assume there is a point charge Q. If we place another point charge Q prime, then the force F Q prime Q is exerted on Q prime by Q. If we relocate Q prime, then the force F Q prime Q acts on Q prime as in this figure. Wherever a point charge is placed around Q, a force is exerted on the point charge due to Q. This space is called the electric field of Q. Let's suppose that a point charge Q prime is placed near Q, and the charge Q prime is sufficiently small so as not to significantly disturb the field of Q. The force on Q prime due to Q is denoted by F Q prime. Then the electric field intensity E due to Q is defined to be the force per unit charge. E is F Q prime over Q prime. And E is given by this equation. By using the unit vector AR, E can be expressed by this equation. The unit is Newton per coulomb, or equivalently, volt per meter. Exercise 1.5 Pause the video and answer the problem. Find the electric field intensity E. The answer to exercise 1.5 Pause the video and check your answer. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.